what would you recommend to someone that suffers from a uh, medical trauma? What would you recommend a few pointers, uh, a few, say, first key steps that will enable them to somewhat accelerate their um, their uh, path towards recovery or, or really just allow them to really shift their perspective while recovering from that trauma? First and foremost is that it's tough. Let's start there. It is hard and no one can take that away. I always go back to God, me personally. Now, if you don't believe in God, I respect that as well. Then just believe in yourself. You know, believe in the energy that you have deep down inside. But for those who do believe, believers, uh, me personally, that's where my strength comes from. And if you don't believe in God, then we'll just call it the universe. So I personally believe that this universe is just, meaning that I find myself in a situation I'm in, and I take ownership of that. So if I'm in a trauma, even if it's something that at the time might not even seem like it's my fault, it's not about placing blame. It's about taking responsibility that I'm here now and I accept where I'm at in this. And I've been uh, in traumatic. I've been through trauma. I've been through, by God's grace, I've never been in a situation where I was like, you know, like some people get their spinal cord severed or. You know, that, that reminds me of somebody from the town, Adam Talaferro. He was a, a from Voorhees Eastern High School super athlete, played football. He turned his, he actually ended up becoming paralyzed from playing football in state nines. And I just, I, man, he just was so strong that he kept on trying and now he could walk. And he's one of those people that's a super inspiration. Like, for real, like, that's as real as it gets. I know people, you know, who've been shot. Uh, who've been, you know what I mean, just dealt with a lot of crazy situations. Uh, you see people here in, in my, you know, in the medical center. I don't, I don't respond to the trauma. That there's a trauma team. Surgeons do that. But basically the medical process to getting back from a trauma, Western medicine, the truth is it doesn't have a lot of good options because it's all about physical. There's no medicine you can give somebody. You know what I mean? It's all about physical. It's about PT. The, PTOT, like physical therapy, occupational therapists, really take the lead role. There are certain medications depending on what's going on, but ultimately it's all about the rehab process. And the rehab process is all just a matter of staying positive. I just know one thing that whatever life puts situation life's put me in, I'm just not gonna quit and I'm gonna keep trying. And what that means is, yeah, today I might not have given my all. And I feel like quitting today, but I'm not going to quit. And I'm going to try. And then tomorrow, I'm going to try harder. It's not about like going crazy one day. It's, it's about coming back the next day. Keep coming back. Keep coming back. And, you know, with minor things as a martial artist and minor pains that you deal with, uh, I just basically keep on keeping on. I think that's the best thing. And I think that's where strength of prayer comes from. I don't pray for things in this world, I pray for the strength, for honor, for dignity, to face challenges, solid as a person who's positive and to always hold my head up and face each challenge with positivity and courage and bravery. And I pray for those things. And then in terms of like, you just got to keep on trying your best to do, if you have like fell and you have like spinal trauma, sciatica, those types of traumas, you know, just try your best to do your stretches uh, balance your body, natural movements, do yoga. 100% yoga is good for the balance. You know, the muscle knots and all that. You got to get size out, but really you got to stretch. You know, if you got shot, you know, you got to ask yourself, like, really the truth. You got to dig deep. Like, what's the reason I was in this situation to begin with? What was it even over? You know what I mean? Why am I in this situation? And if you were wrong, I mean, we're not going to really get into all that, but I, I do believe that's just, I'm not going to lie. But what I'm going to say is that the you got to heal. You know what I mean? It's a process of healing. So no good comes from anger. No good comes from revenge. Good comes from love and justice. Somebody created an injustice where they just went out here and I got shot as an innocent bystander for no reason. It's not a good situation to be in, and it's not good for that person to be around and able to, you know, and I don't really believe in putting people in jail, but that's a whole nother co conversation. 
I'm just going to say the healing part, we have to just look into ourselves and heal in terms of what got us to where we in. Like I always try to figure out what I did to get in the situation I'm in. I take responsibility for it and learn from it. Sometimes you do get in a traumatic situation by doing the right thing. And you know what? That's okay. In fact, I believe you get a lot of rewards for that. If you try to do the right thing and ended up getting hurt or in a traumatic situation because of that, or, you know, you got, we got to see the difference between bravery and reckless. Like being reckless is not brave, you know, but also it's never good to be scared. So we got to like process these things with true discernment. And then I would say, continue to really feed your body with love. Make sure you keep all positive thoughts. I try to like feed my body with love and light whatever is the part of my body that's not, you know, I try to feed it with love and light, feed myself with the right vitamins, nutrients, and minerals that's going to feed my body, try to avoid the toxins. And I fall short on these things. I'm saying these are what I strive, the whole conversation about honor and everything. I'm, I'm trying, I'm striving towards that. I'm, I'm an imperfect person, which is cool because I'm trying my best. You know, I, I make mistakes and I, I do fall short, but then I keep on going and continuing the next day. It's all about getting back on, not beating yourself or getting off your discipline, but getting back on your discipline. And I feel like with positivity, courage, most importantly, faith in God, and to that, all things are possible. And you keep on facing those challenges. That's just the way the universe works, man. You're going to be successful. You've got to be patient enough to see it through. And it's those struggles, really, that, when I find myself in a struggle or challenge, I, I thank God because I was like, all right, I'm about to learn something from this. I'm about to get stronger at the end of this. So, you know, I try to ask God why. I always ask why, like, why am I, what are you trying to teach me right now? Not in an arrogant way, not in a, you know what I mean? But I question in the sense of like, I really want to learn. Like I'm a student of life and God is the teacher. So, all right, I want to know what am I trying to learn from this? And, you know, I just, feel grateful to God for everything because there's people living in pain, there's people suffering, there's people out here going through going through the most. And maybe sometimes those people are us, but we just got to always be positive and try our best to keep moving forward. I would say keep doing your, keep moving your body, keep stretching, keep finding balance, keep focusing your thoughts on positive thoughts, keep learning, keep growing, focus your mind on growth and development. And so you could use your struggles and things to distract you from where you got to go, or you could use your work to distract you from your pain. That's a wonderful breakdown. Again, especially that the healing experience, the, the healing process of, of the process of rehabilitation for recovery. I think nowadays that's my overarching theme about anything, whether it's physiological, psychological, financial, spiritual, all of that. I think we all need healing in every level, every component of life. And uh, my, my actually my personal core values breaks down into six. Gratitude, intention, uh -huh. intention. purpose, Her. yeah, uh, uh, strength, strength, impact, and healing. This last one, and I think that's that's that like a song, man. That's a bar. That's bar right I, there. Tied them all together. I, I, I've actually, I've actually created an overview video of, of a breakdown. I'm gonna send that your way, and hopefully, yeah, eventually, really share good. share it with the grander audience.